No matter your position or role at work, your back is the part of the body that needs the most care. Either sitting down, standing up, or moving constantly, your back is always working because it is holding your body and your head. At work, one of the most common risks for your back is lifting objects. However, if we apply the following advice responsibly, we will lower the possibility of hurting your back and suffer from other diseases in the future. Before even deciding to lift a heavy object, it is essential to analyze weight, volume, and distance. Also, consider other possibilities. Is it possible to push or pull? How many times will I have to repeat the sequence to finish the task? Is my health condition suitable for this lifting? If the weight or frequency is at the limit of my abilities, consider getting mechanical help when possible. Consider your workmate's help. Many times it is the safest, healthiest and easiest solution. Overflowing your abilities won't be beneficial for you, so give your ego a rest. Before lifting the object, it is important to evaluate the journey and to know the conditions of the destination. If walking will be required for a determined distance, you should go around that route previously, making sure it is under good condition and also identify risks such as water, bumps on the floor, stairs and illumination. If a workmate wants to join in, share your plan and make sure he or she agrees with the procedure. You must be careful when lifting the object to avoid back injuries. Always stand straight. Bend your hips and knees to squat down to your load. Separate and strengthen your legs for a better base of support. Never lift an object above shoulder level. The same goes for putting the object in its final position. Hold the object as close to your body as you can. Avoid stretching your arms, which will only put a strain on your back. It will not only aid body weight distribution, but it will also help improve balance. This is crucial. Do not attempt to lift by bending forward. This is one of the most common mistakes. Always use your feet to turn around. Do not twist your back when carrying a load because our spines are not meant to do that. As you move around carrying heavy items, keep your eyes up front and do not carry anything that may block your vision. Good habits are essential for your back's health. For instance, keeping a good posture at all times will be beneficial for you if it becomes a habit. We can ease the strain on our back, standing or sitting, even sleeping. It is crucial for our bodies to make good use of our time to rest. Sleeping on your stomach is not recommended. The ideal position is to sleep on your side, placing a pillow between your legs to avoid pressure on your lower back. If you sleep on your back, use a good pillow that lifts your head and maintains the continuity of your spine. Either at work or at home, careless exposure to constant vibration is not advised, for example, heavy equipment or transport vehicles. Watching your weight and doing physical activity helps your back, as well as keeping your abdominal muscles active. Ideally, you should exercise your back by doing simple workouts at home or at work at least two times a week. Don't forget to take care of your back, for a poorly treated back is destined for injury rather sooner than later. It may result in intense pain that will keep you from living a normal life or more serious medical conditions, even different types of disabilities.